For fast, cheap, and reliable Madden 22 coins, make sure to go to instantmaddencoins.com. Use code MMG for 10% off. The end of an era. I know, it's a sad, it's just sad start to the video. Today is the end of the Jalen Hurts era. I just took down the Christmas tree. I took down Black Santa. And I was looking at the Jalen Hurts poster and I, I was basically like, bro, I gotta take it down. In fairness, the Eagles did make the playoffs, so it's still technically Jalen Hurts season. But if the Eagles somehow get past the Buccaneers, I don't even know what I would say. NFL playoffs is coming up though and all the NFL awards are coming up. I'm so excited to see all of it. It's gonna be super fun. But I think I'm gonna throw a curveball up back there and you guys will understand why when i get there but for now let's just stay the course we have to stay locked in we're not here to talk about Jalen hurts or the playoffs or how stafford's about to get his first ever super bowl with the rams we're not here to talk about any of that we're here to talk about well we're not here to talk about anything actually we're here to do a fucking wheel of art baby let's get this money boy what am i talking about all right wheel of not ooga booga i gotta say what an interesting lineup this has gotta be it's gotta be the weirdest the weirdest wheel of mutt team we've ever had power up the Devontae Adams, every time I get a touchdown with him, I can bring him up a few overalls. Which is huge. We can stay locked into that. But this team is weird, bro. I got Jake Plummer. I got William Perry as my fullback. The highest overall player on my team is my fullback. Jonathan Taylor is a stud. That's not too weird. Kadarius Tony. That's kind of weird. Metcalf. A weird looking offensive line. Kind of good, kind of bad. Very mediocre. I got Dante Fowler as my other middle linebacker. I got Melvin Ingram as my right end. I got Ted Hendricks strong safety as my corner. It is definitely one of the most unique wheel of my lineups we've ever had. And you know what? We're really not playing that bad. We're sitting here looking at one more win, literally one more win to take us into the playoffs. We're six and two. All these games we played have been so weird. I, I don't know how else to describe it other than that, but um, I'm hoping that today's episode can just be one clean, good game, get the challenge wheel done and all of that. Also, I did forget a rage quit wheel on a video a while ago. I was thinking about spinning it right now, but it's, it's a foregone conclusion. I'll just be better in the future and I won't mess that up. I think if I can really choose what I want here, I I think I want to go O-line or linebacker. Those would be probably my two best options. It's going to be, hey, wait, this is huge, bro. They just dropped. Oh, this is huge. They just dropped these new campus heroes and they're fucking cracked. So there is a 96 overall Brian Arakpo. That's a right outside linebacker, which is the same position as Odafe Owe right now. So I might not do that. There's a 96 overall Percy Harvin wide receiver. I think I might go with that Arakpo, dude. He's a savage. He's got 91 speed and he's a power rusher. I think this might be the move right here. 91 speed, 94 acceleration, 93 strength. It is a jackpot, so I do get the best version, which means I can power him up. Then hopefully it should let me put him at left outside linebacker with the chems. What a massive W. Brian Arakpo. I'm not even gonna look at his stats yet because they're all they're gonna be better once I power him up. I was actually really surprised they ended up updating this program, and I never would have thought I'd be sitting here with this Brian Arakpo, but I will definitely take it. That is the new highest overall player on this team, by the way. Yup, so position. Positions. Left outside linebacker, secondary position, chems enabled. It literally doesn't matter because I don't use chemistries. What abilities do you get? You're a power rusher, so he's probably gonna get edge threat. He's not actually a player I would put any power ups on. I'll just let him do his thing. He's a 97 overall. I don't gotta get fancy. Uh, insanely massive upgrade. We'll look at him when I throw him in the lineup, but we still have another wheel spin, so let's do that first. 97 overall left outside linebacker, I think an offensive line upgrade here, and that's basically a cash money episode. It's kind of what I'm looking for. Promo's wheel. So now. 92, 93 player, but they must come from the program that we are about to land on. Looks like it's gonna be vets. At least I get to choose. I oh, oh, damn. I thought for sure that was gonna be veterans. We clutch up with legends. I can get any 92 to 93 legends player. There is a Marquise Pouncey, 93 center. There's an Alan Fanica, and there's a Joe Thomas. So I could upgrade the O-line, but there is also a 92 overall Luke Keekley. So I could have gone with any of them, but I love my decision. I went with Luke Keekley. Additionally, if I get a pack a punch, I can take him up to his 95 overall, which should be insanely good, but he's already really good. As a 92 overall, for one AP, I can give him Lurker, Spectacular Catch Animations for Lurking Defenders. And he's got 91 speed, 90 excel, 92 hit power, 88 block shed. He's a stud. He's like Devin White. He's like Devin White, but with a lot of grit. You know, he's got a high motor. What do you mean by that? If you... 
Catch my drift. And so what we basically just did was a gigantic linebacker overall. And bro, I threw Arakpo, who's a 97 right outside linebacker. He's a 98 at left outside. If someone wants to explain to me why that is, I'd love to know because I literally have no clue. But he's a 98 over here. 92 speed, 95 excel. Holy shit. 97 black shed, 94 strength. This 98 impact block? If your defender is high in impact block, he'll destroy pulling guards more often than with lower impact block. Good luck blocking this Brian Arakpo is basically what I'm hearing. The challenge wheel is spinning. We've got some absolute studs and I'm ready to hop into this game. Lock up the playoffs and clap some cheeks, baby. Our challenge wheel is a 20 plus yard pitch back. Oh, the last time I had this, I actually completed on the last play, but it was like, this was like months ago. I could do it on an interception. I could also set up my own hook and ladder play, but it's not an easy one. Sean Taylor, Ted Hendricks, Isaiah Simmons. So Arakpo would be up there, but I don't have any abilities on him. He actually doesn't get any abilities I want. And his team is not a god squad. That is huge. Oh, we're in the Pizza Hut Stadium. I hate this shit. First and 10, right side pitch to start this game out. Devin White's over there. Come on. He might check this down. Oh, he can't. He's gonna step up and get fucking rocked. Devin White. Oh, that was the most obvious like cut back inside from a quarterback that you could possibly do. What's my challenge? 20 plus yards pitch back? All right. And halfback base looks super open. We need a good block from Metcalf on his user. He gives it to us. Ooh, so he takes the angle route, but that's gonna leave Metcalf. It is so hard to stop a slant and an angle. I think a Waller corner route is probably my move here. We'll see if uh, Judon blitzes. Judon does not blitz. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Plumber's gonna step up. Let's uh, double team the left side. I think that guy is a blitzer. Let's see what this looks like. He's not a blitzer. Is Jonathan Taylor gonna be there? No. Uh, good, dude. Guy put me in a box. And no focus kicker, but we're still gonna drill it. Three to zero, let's go. Look at this, dude. Devin White, Keekly, Sean Taylor, Isaiah si I love my defense right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Justin Fields, what you got for me, boy? Uh, Hatback is open. Oh! oh. <laughs> so close. I knew he wanted it to. Corner route, I see it. Oh, let's get an INT. Let's get an INT. No, you. No shot. That shit was so crazy that, like, whatever, bro. Well done. Let's see if I can get over there with Sean Taylor. I can't. Wow. He's really going to showboat after throwing that pass, bro. Now, keep in mind, on this pitch back, I don't have to necessarily gain 20 yards. It's just the guy that I pitch it back to needs to go 20 yards. I hope that makes sense. So let's say I'm standing on the 50 and I pitch it back to a guy on the 40. The guy on the 40 has to run 20 yards forward. I hope that makes sense. And hopefully I can describe it well enough when I get to attempt it. But we haven't even attempted it yet, so... Let's take this one step at a time. I didn't even realize I checked down. I thought he was on a streak. Dude, tell me how he has momentum right now. It's, how do you have momentum? All right, Plumber getting his adjustments off. Just barely. <laughs> what is going on? Double whammy. Oh no, that's a pick. It's not. Wow, how did he not pick that? Fourth and two. Super sketch, Metcalf. All right, Blitz. I can easily roll outside of this one and Darren Waller is butt fucking naked. Stay in bounds, you bitch! Let's go. Let's go! Literally butt naked. Butt booty naked. Butt booty naked right in my face so I can see that booty bouncing with maximum efficiency. Don't show Carl Nassib. I sh I can I make that joke? Am I still allowed to make that joke? Whatever. I'm gonna fuck. I'm doing it. Who's gonna be there? Great rollout. I really could have rifled either Y or B, but I love having a scramble QB because that was actually my safest option right there. You know what's funny? I'm not even gonna try some clock shenanigans. I want him to have the ball. I want the ball in his hands. His offense is super sketchy. So I'm completely fine with him having it. Peak, zone, bubble, great joke. Jonathan, I don't know how that was a first down, but it is. Let's see if uh, Taylor's open. He is open. Uh, kind of. Okay. I'm gonna be honest. I really don't know what I'm going for here. Do they get the double off? Not really. Go, Plumber! We got our last fourth and two. Let's see if we can stop this one as well. I might send Metcalf to the end zone, bro, because he's going to play this underneath. Ooh, he's not. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble now. I'm throwing RB! Great defensive play, bro. That was tough. Hatback. Go, Hatback. Oh my god, Arakpo, you stud. He gets up and bats that one down. Second and ten. What a play. Always looking for the check down to the halfback. Oh, triple option. King lays all over it. We know this is a pass. Okay. 
<laughs> Fourth and 30 from his own 12. I have to imagine this is a punt. I can't let him do a broken play, bro. Fourth and 13 is his first time in gun bunch. I haven't seen it from him yet. He's just gonna beam one up. How the fuck did he catch that? I got two dudes on him. Gotta keep this man on the end zone or get a turnover, dude. This is frustrating. Play action here. Step up and get him. Oh my God, let's go, Sean Taylor. Score before half, get the ball at half. No thoughts, just actions. Oh, oh, oh. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I fucking see? Let's go, big time. I saw I saw that safety scream down on a blitz. It meant Metcalf had to be in single coverage. Let's see what he's looking at. Great blocking, dude. Montez Sweat gonna get inside of him. Don't you fumble! We pick it up! Let's go! Pick it up on the two! <laughs> Things are starting to turn in my in my favor a little bit here. Jonathan Taylor, offensive player of the year, baby! Is this really gonna happen? It's so open! Look at the middle of the fucking field, bro! It's gotta be there! Let's go! 10 to 7, ball at half! Three seconds on the clock. That's huge! Oh, look at this. Sean Taylor's X Factors lit up on the kick return. You love to see it. We're getting great blocks. Oh, Sean T, you fucking savage. Oh my God. That's why you prestige him right there, baby. William Perry was out there on that kick return T. He threw a nasty block up there. Have I returned a kick and wheel him up? I really don't think so. First and 10, I'm cutting this one back left, getting inside. Second and seven. Uh. Oh, you're, you're stupid wide open. Come here. Oh, you don't, you, he came to me. First and 10, I'm going inside zone and A. Hey, we're back, baby. Okay, but I'm getting fucking lit up. Oh, B over the top was there, but Plummer. He's clutching up on the ground. Five rushes, 28 yards. We can put this game in such a good position with a touchdown. I would love to roll out to the right. Oh, okay, okay. I will definitely, be oh, right in the middle. Is that Devontae Adams? <gasps> How are you gonna find your way into that end zone, buddy? He got, he actually got so close. He was on the six. Dude, clean, clean route spot. I think the super, no, 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 I wanna play. No! I overreacted, I overreacted, I overreacted. So here's Devontae Adams. I can motion him. He's gonna come all the way across the formation. I'm actually gonna put him on a curl. Let's see if he sits down on that curl and he's open. Not really, but I could playmaker him. No, he saw it. He saw it with Richard Seymour. He made a great play on that. I'm going for it. Oh, he dropped it! <gasps> Holy fuck, he dropped that! That should have been a pick. I will take this field goal. It's a weird field goal. And honestly, I had a few opportunities just to straight up score that touchdown. I was too worried about Devontae Adams getting that Devontae Adams touchdown in the upgrade. So I accept my fault here, but I'm really confident in my defense. And even if we were to just fucking completely sell right here, all I need is one field goal to win the game. The most you can get here is 15 to 13. The absolute most. So I don't know why he would go for that, but oh, I missed a big one. Ooh. Oh, wow. What a seam. Do you roll out here? Read option. Oh, Hendrix. We need a bigger hit right there. Good play by him. We're there. Big hit. Let's go. One yard for Odell halfback. Play underneath, boys. Let's play underneath. We know what he wants to do. He wants to go back across! That's fucking mine! And don't you walk out of that end zone and sit my ass on the one! Let's go! I knew exactly what you wanted! Woo! Goal line stand! What, what is more exciting than a goal line stand right there? First and 10, this game ain't over, but let's go lock him up. Great blocking on the inside. Gonna say great blocking on the inside zone. That was not great blocking on the inside zone. No, 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 no. Oh my fucking God, Jonathan Taylor! He just must Palomalu! I'm going with the inside zone. Let's go! First down and more! I'm gonna cover ball after I snap this, that's for sure. Oh yeah. Oh, now it is for sure game! I'm sorry, boys. I can't go for the challenge. This game has been way too close. Connection with Bears my loss. The only reason I'm calling out a rage quit is I forgot to spin my rage quit wheel like a few episodes ago. Let's go! Dude, that was sketchy.
Dude, look at these last three games. 14-14, 16-14, 13-7. Papa Meeks is in the playoffs actually at the same time that the actual NFL playoffs are going on. It would have been cool to have my Super Bowl at the same time as the actual Super Bowl, but we still have a lot of time. I technically could do it and, and make it happen. I might have to like daily upload Wheel of Mutt for like a week straight. I'm sure you'd all be really pissed about that. Booga booga. I'm not a fucking monkey, okay? I'm a human with feelings. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm a stupid fucking robot built in a lab to make banger wheel up content. In honor of Jalen Hurts, we lock up a fat W and of course, we get a rage wheel. Let's see what this can add for us. Maybe now I can actually get my offensive lineman because I neglected my offensive lineman on all my other wheel spins. That looks like a jackpot. Thanks so Oh, I love you, Jalen. I love you, Jalen Hurts. Am I really about to sauce a 94 on an O-lineman? You know, uh, literally though, a 94 can hardly do anything on my defense. The only thing it can be is a left end. And I'm already saving Bruce Smith for a potential pack a punch. So I really don't need it. I feel like left guard is more important than center. It could have been why running the ball was so difficult. I, I always forget because I'm just stupid. But I always forget that my offensive line is just not that good. Who's a 94 left guard though? Alan Fanica, John Han. Oh, you're 95. Quentin Nelson. No, he's a 95. A 93 with a power up counts. There's not a single 93, so my only option would be Alan Fanica. I really don't want to do Alan Fanica. That sounds really lame to me for some reason. Bruce Matthews would not be a bad pickup here, but Matt Paradis at least is in the league. Yeah, let's go Matt Paradis. 94 overall center. That is our reward for getting a rage quit. I respect it. All right, Paradis is in. Ram Chicks are left guard, which is super weird, but hey, it is what it is. Walter Jones, Leonard Davis, and Beecham. So that should help us running straight up the gut, which I feel like we actually did kind of struggle with today. I got swamped a few times. Let's get ourselves a backup tight end next episode as well. A couple other things that uh, we could definitely use some help with, but it is what it is. I love you, boys. I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching, as always. Peace.